Hi, I'm Asla Mullah and I am a registered attorney and in today's video we're going to be talking about how divorce specifically impacts your will. So let's get started with it. If you're in the process of getting a divorce or you're thinking about getting a divorce, it's very, very important to make sure that you update your will because your divorce is not legally finalized up and until the judge actually signs the divorce papers. What this means is that if you were to pass on during the divorce, your spouse will still inherit in terms of your will, even though you might not intend for that to take place. However, there is some protection in the law in terms of the Wills Act. If you pass on within three months after the date of your divorce, your spouse will not inherit. But this is only after the judge signs the papers. In the interim period, if summons has been instituted for divorce and the case is still going on and you pass on, then your spouse will inherit in terms of your will. However, if the divorce is granted, three months, within that three month period, if you pass on, then your spouse will not inherit. If you pass on after three months from the, from the date of the divorce, then your spouse will inherit. Why? Because in terms of the Wills Act, the law stipulates that you had three months to change your will, to update your will, you haven't done so. So the law interprets that to mean that you actually do want your spouse to inherit. What's the key takeaway? The key takeaway is to make sure that you update your will as soon as the divorce process starts immediately. Don't waste any time. Update the beneficiaries on your will. Another important aspect to consider is in terms of beneficiaries on life insurance policies and pension funds. Make sure that as soon as the divorce process starts, you notify your insurance company and you notify your pension fund that you want to perhaps remove your ex-spouse's details. It's up to you, but if you don't do that and you pass on, there's a good chance that your spouse is going to get those benefits. An important, a further important document is a document called power of attorney. If you had given your spouse a power of attorney during the time that you were married, it's very important to make sure that you revoke that power of attorney because you might not want your spouse to control your affairs after your death. So the summary of today's video is if you don't update your will and you're going through a divorce, there could be serious repercussions for your estate. Make sure that you update your will as soon as the divorce process starts. It's not a complicated process. Make sure you update the beneficiaries on your will, update the beneficiaries on your insurance benefits and update the beneficiaries in terms of your pension fund. And lastly, make sure that you revoke any powers of attorney that you might have given to your spouse. If you need help in your particular situation, you're more than welcome to click the link below and book an appointment with our office. I wish you all the best and I'll speak to you soon.